What's good? This is Master Ace from Brooklyn, New York. Here with my peoples at Breaking Records Radio. Real hip hop will live forever. What's up? This is Damrick. It's Jamie Madrock. Man, this is your man, it's Obi Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Sklan MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out. And um, like I said, man, I don't want to keep all your time. I know you here at the studio. You got other things going on as I'm, well. I'm heading back home after this. All right, all right. Um, you know, yeah, there's so much history to talk about, man. So we'll 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 cut it because the show shows an hour. So we'll we'll uh, we'll 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 get to the end of it here. And you know, maybe uh, we'll get a chance to chop it up again sometime. Sure. And you know, go through some of the other stuff I got down. But um, so one thing I'm just wondering now is uh, with the new album out. By the way, I love it. Brooklyn's phenomenal. Right. It's my favorite project that's come out. Did they co did they come out the end of last year or early this year? November 9th last year. Yeah, so it was end of last year. Mm -hmm. I I still I count the last two months as the. I take this, it. I'll um, take it. But it's it's my favorite album so far this year. Like it's. That's that sound I love, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I like how uh, Polo took a different approach for you, you know, with the, the way he did the samples and stuff this time, and you know, and um, just everything, I just think it came out flawless. I love the tracks, I love the concepts. You're still as sharp as ever on it. Love the album. I'm just curious, do you got anything else? You know, you talked about the uh, musical and stuff, but do you got anything else musically in the works right now that fans can kind of salivate and wait on? Uh, no. Um really there's so much more going into this record like Marco's doing remixes and our, our goal is to really to tour with this record for the next two years which I really feel like we'll be able to do yeah it deserves that push yeah I, I, I feel so and so I don't want to take like if I drop another record like in two months it'll 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 pull momentum and steam away from what we're trying to do with this record and so I yeah. don't want to do that um, so I'm taking all my creative energy and I'm putting it into this musical because I have to write all these songs um, there's a lot of songs for and different songs for different characters I think I'm going to probably bring in a couple of other writers to write some of the songs for some of the characters Yeah. but generally speaking um, I got to write an entire musical which you know act one is probably seven songs and then act two might be seven eight songs so it's basically like writing an album Yeah. so that's where all of my creative you know, writing energy is going to be going to is this this out this this musical. Okay, dope. Yeah. Damn it, I look forward to that. That'll be awesome. It's gonna be cool, man. It's, gonna, it's coming out. It's coming out really good. I'm I'm I'm. It's so crazy because when you're writing a story like this, um, and it's and it's you know a fictional story, but kind of based on real life. So th there are there are fictional aspects of the storyline that you have to create, and so coming up with the ending and what's going to happen with the characters I'm at that point now because I'm already in act two I'm like last three scenes of act two and I got all of this all these loose ends that I got to tie, tie up, up in, yeah. in, in, in three acts and I'm trying to figure out how to do it and that's the but that's the fun part that's like when I'm when I'm making one of my records when I'm making one of my albums and, and I'm you know writing the skits and trying to figure out how the skits and the songs are going to all kind of sequence and blend together and how why this song should come before this skit and this song this skit song comes after this skit so i'm at that point of of of, of sequencing and figuring out the all of these storylines for all these characters and um it's going great but i'm definitely at a at a big pivotal moment in the writing and i'm like just sitting there like what do i do how do i do this how do i fix this and 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 it, it, but it can't be fixed in a because i see so many you know, movies and TV shows and stuff like that where you can tell that the writer got stuck. Like cheap ending. And gave up. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, fuck it. I'm just going to... Kill this guy and kill this yeah, guy. Yeah, and... it's like, oh, what you, you, watch, you watch this whole thing and then it's, oh, the ending is whack and you're like, yo, you you, you gave up. So that's 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 my, my goal is to tie this thing together neatly, nicely, in a way that the people that watch it and see it are going to feel good and happy with the way it went and so that's yeah. why that's why i'm at that's, that's the tricky part but that's the challenge and that's the great part about writing and actually with you saying that reminded me of one other thing i would not there's no question about it but i and i don't know what your story is so i don't know if, if this could be a horrible suggestion but one <laughs> thing that could be a cool way to tie it in you know that joint 2040 you did with kitsunami oh that shit is so dope man you know, I don't know. I see. I don't know where the story goes exactly, but I mean, just on the base, you know, 
because that's kind of like you seeing yourself in the future. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that works or anything. That's but, a cool suggestion. I'm not. I don't. I don't know that if it would work. But right, it's not. It it it, it could work. But, yeah. You know, my my vision for the way that it was going to end, that takes. Me, it doesn't go that far into the future. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So that's the only thing. But but I, I like that idea though. That song's a, that song incredible too. I did want to bring that up to you because I Thank feel you. like that's a joint that got slept on a lot. And that song. That's cool. That's a cool joint. I really like that joint a lot. It man. was fun to write that. Yo, what's up? It's your man, MLNY, Maloney, Breaking Records, Breaking Records Radio. You know what it is. I'm just here to tell you guys right now that you want to, if any of my smokers out there, basically, any of my Canadian smokers, now that it's legal, what you got to do is you got to head over to thccollection.com and check them out. And make sure you use the promo code HIPHOP. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. And that's all capital letters. Save 10% on every purchase that you make. Anytime. They got everything. They got deals every single day of the week, which include like free whatever with whatever you buy. And uh, my favorite is Tulip Tuesday. You can get $100 ounces. And that's only on Tuesdays. And you save 10% on every purchase with the promo code HIPHOP, all caps. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. So make sure you go over there. Check them out. That's THCCollection.com for all your good medical needs, for all your good gr greenery, your extracts, and all that good stuff. <laughs>